I was like to my breaking point. I was I was going to push the button and be like, I need to get up because it hurt. Hello, I'm Samantha. You wanna say hi? Hi. That's great. It's been a while since I've made a video. By that I mean not in the last week. And if you wanna blame someone for that, blame Gray. Because he left me for three weeks and then when he came back I wanted to hang out with him instead of upload videos. But you can also blame me because it's really my fault. I posted on the Instagram that I've stopped chemo and I stopped early. Um, for those of you wondering why. Why? Well, most of the people have already like have asked me the question and I've answered it to them directly. But for those of you who haven't asked questions and are wondering why, probably no one. But anyway, if there are some of you, <laughs> I stopped because of um, neuropathy in my fingers. So Taxol, which was the type of chemo that I was on at the end, is known for causing neuropathy. I didn't really feel that much neuropathy most of the treatment, but after the ninth one, it started to get a lot worse, kind of suddenly. Um, I, I mean, I don't really know, because I was always having kind of pain in my nails, but never like all the way up into the t tips of my fingers. I had it sometimes where I would have it for like, a night and then it would go away but this time it was like actually not going away it was consistently bad um, all week things like buttoning buttons and uh, opening my contacts were just hard cutting your food yeah cutting my food gray actually cut my steak last night thank you you're welcome <laughs> because I I just struggle with like using a knife, cause like the tip of my finger hurts. Um, I was trying to do it with this finger, but um, it's really hard to hold a knife like that. So I was doing that well with chicken, but when it was steak, I just didn't think I could do it. So he cut my steak for me. Um, yeah, so now I'm on the medication that is supposed to help the neuropathy and it is helping, um, but it doesn't make it completely go away and they really wanted to stop chemo because they didn't want this neuropathy to be permanent. Um, usually it'll go away in 6 to 12 months. So I'm hoping that that happens and it's not permanent. But if it is, it didn't get super, super bad where I, like my fingers are like tingling like really badly. Um, it's really inconvenient, but it's not like super horribly bad. So now we are on the way to the hospital because we always are. <laughs> and I have this form right here. It's secret, you can't show them that. And it has some forms in it. Well, it has a, it's a folder, but it has some forms in it for my surgery. Signing like anesthesia papers and stuff like that. I hope they use enough this time. Oh, were you gonna say that? What? I said I hope they use enough this time. Anesthesia? Yeah. When did they not use enough? When oh, you woke like... up during surgery. Recommended video, woke up during <laughs> surgery. You have a video called that. Okay, yeah, but that wasn't like real deep anesthesia. Have I recommended one of your videos in every one of your videos? Probably. <laughs> He's really supportive of my channel. It's the best. You should all tell all of your friends to subscribe. There's an American flag on the ground. Put an American flag on the ground. Aww. You can't get out and get it because we're in the middle of traffic. If you can't tell, we love America. Yeah, it's the best. <laughs> okay, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, we're on the way to the hospital um, right now because I need to give these forms to the breast surgeon. Um, and I have an MRI. So I've had three scans in the past three business days because it's Tuesday so I had one on Friday <laughs> one on yesterday and one today my scan on Friday was a breast MRI because they need to do that because they have never done they haven't actually what I feel like I'm in a shadow here am I in a shadow probably but I don't you're not saying anything so it doesn't matter oh that's so mean <laughs> I'm the, Samantha I'm the star <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Um, you guys are your fancy lighting with you today. <laughs> if you've noticed the quality of my lighting improving, it's because of him. <laughs> um, You're saying about your breast scan. Yeah, MRI. I had a breast MRI because they need that because they haven't had one yet, and so just to have one, and they need it for uh, surgery details, I guess, and to help them decide things about the surgery. They have my official surgery date, which is August 26th, and um, I have, I'm going to be making another video that has all the details of my decision, if I chose double mastectomy or lumpectomy and my reasons why and I have made that decision. You should have let them vote in the comments. Comment below what you think my decision <laughs> is but if you know you're not allowed to comment. It's cheating. Okay yesterday I had a PET scan yeah. um, because my last one was March before I started treatment and everything and this is just like to compare it to that to see like how the treatment's been doing or like you know if some random stuff showed up in random places hopefully that didn't happen they haven't called me and told the results for that one yet so I'm waiting on that and now today where are we going you're getting a cervical MRI do you know what that is now fun fact Apparently a cervical MRI is an MRI of your neck and your spine and not of your cervix And I thought that cervical meant the cervix and apparently it does mean that but it also can mean the neck So my knowledge of anatomy is very limited cervical spine MRI I was wondering why they needed to MRI your cervix and I guess they don't <laughs> That's true, which is great. They don't and if you're wondering why they need the cervical spine MRI it is because of that spot that I have on my left rib. You have, you can't just say your left rib. One You've of my left. you got a bunch of them. My left second in. left rib. Nobody cares what rib. It's really important. Have you explained the rib thing in another video? I have explained, I've touched on it a little bit in, the other, in another video. When they did the PET scan um, back in March, there was a little spot that lit up on one of my ribs and they didn't know what it was and it wasn't like a huge light up it wasn't like super bright um, it was still within their like normal range they wanted to be sure about it so they sent me for an MRI and that MRI came back and showed that there was something suspicious about that rib they also sent me for a nuclear bone scan that showed that there wasn't any like new bone growth or anything on that rib um, so they don't really know if it's cancer or not but um, to be safe they're just gonna treat it like there is cancer there because they can't biopsy it because they can't biopsy it because it's in a really hard spot to biopsy um, just the risk I feel like they can't hear anything when we start to move. They probably can't hear anything anyway. There's a lot of background noise from this truck. Even if they did biopsy it, they might not like get the right spot and it like could come back negative, but they like did it in the wrong spot or something. Really, if there is cancer there, uh, it's kind of bad. Or it's just kind of worse, a worse scenario than we originally thought when we thought it was just like in the breast and in the lymph nodes because that means that it has like spread to like another area outside of that which is basically stage four cancer um, so yeah that's why another reason why like I can't really tell you what stage my cancer is because um, we just don't know I'm kind of interested in the results of this MRI today because what if I just do it and there's nothing there anymore and it was just like a weird thing that happened to be there um, when I got that MRI done before or maybe that thing is bigger or maybe that thing is smaller theoretically if it was cancer it should be smaller now 
because of the chemotherapy, which has shrunk the tumor in my breast, and it should be doing its work other places in my body as well. Was my rib always different than all the other ribs around it? Was I just born like that, or is that cancer? So we don't really have anything to compare it to because I've never had that kind of scan done before. If you don't know, a PET scan is used, or can be used, to see where cancer is in your body. They inject some radioactive dye into you, and then you sit there and wait for an hour. It was very boring, but Gray sat outside the room that I was in and tried to entertain me, sort of. Sort of. Sort of. He was not allowed in the room, I guess. Because it's radioactive. It, it says, that, yeah, it says like danger, radioactive, nuclear, whatever. It's awesome. I don't, yeah. Something like that. It's something like that. I don't know. I sent it out as a Snapchat to my streaks, and I still have the tape from when they. This. Because they had to inject stuff from my breast MRI. And they tried to get the vein on my right arm, and it failed. So then they did it in my left arm. So now I got bruises in both arms. For my PET scan, though they were allowed to use my port, so no more bruising. I don't know what they'll use today. I don't know if there's contrast in this MRI or not. I think there is, so. Ooh, contrast. Woohoo! I hate MRIs. They're my least favorite scan. They're the loudest and most annoying. Samantha's an expert on scans. She's had all the different kinds of scans. Pretty much. Except an x-ray. Huh? I did have an x-ray of my chest when I had to go to the ER when That's my right. fever got too high when I was on chemo. If you don't know, if your fever gets above 100.4 when you're on chemo, you have to go to the hospital to get it checked out. They wanted to make sure I didn't have pneumonia because I also had a cold or something. It was really dumb. I don't know why they needed to do that x-ray. <laughs> so you've had an x-ray, three different kinds of MRIs, a PET scan, a nuclear bone scan, and a CT scan, right? Do I have that right? Yep, I've had two PET scans. Yeah. Oh, and ultrasounds. And ultrasounds. Lots of different kinds of ultrasounds. Lots of, well... Two, two, two different kinds of ultrasounds. Yeah, I think. No, well, yes. Kind of three. Depending yet, on what you count. No mammogram. We're almost to the hospital now, so I guess we can update you after. Look how pretty our mountains are. I hate everything. <laughs> I don't, you talk. It took a long time. They said it was going to take 40 minutes and it took 90 minutes. I was sitting there in the stupid MRI machine for I guess 90 minutes and I had no idea how long it was taking. And you can't move <laughs> because they like strap your head like in this thing so your head doesn't move. And then like at the beginning you're like, it's not that bad. Like I can totally make it through this because especially I was like, all right, 30 minutes. Like, oh, also they did do an injection. It was in my hand because he couldn't do it in this arm because there's bruising. And then I told him, he was like, oh, can I use the other arm? And I was like, well, there's a bruise on that arm too. Yeah, so you're sitting there forever. It's so long. It got, took so long I got up and started wandering around the hospital looking for you. Yeah, because like he it had was been like, more than twice the amount of time that the doctor said it would be. <laughs> uh, he was like, okay, it's gonna be third. It's gonna be 25 to 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna pull you out. I'm gonna inject the stuff into you. Then it's gonna be another 10 minutes. And I was like, okay, cool. And then I was just in there, and I was like, kind of falling asleep and waking back up because like how it vibrates, it's like easily makes me fall asleep. That happened last time I had this too. But I, I never really fell asleep. It was kind of like I, I closed my eyes, and then like you know how when you fall asleep, and then you get like that thing that kind of like jolts you that kept happening so I'm wondering if from that happening things kept messing up and then they had to redo the pictures and that's why I ended up taking longer than it had to I got to the end and I was so close 
to like pulling their button thingy and being like, I need to get up. <laughs> because even when they take you out to do the contrast, they still don't let you move because they're like, oh, your head's in the perfect position, so don't move. But it hurts so bad. Like my head, Grace says there's an indent in my head. Here, show. I don't, how do I show it? Here, I, mean, I don't know where it is. It's just like when you sleep on something weird, it's less visible now. Or, oh. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. If you can't see it, then just cut it. Okay, but. well. Grace said there's, can you stop doing that? Like on my eyebrows? I'm trying to keep my eyebrows. I was in the same position for so long and then you know when you're in that same position for so long, try, try laying in the same position for 90 minutes on something that's like not very comfortable and without moving, without moving at all. Isn't that just us oh, when the we same watch TV? No, because you move every three seconds. You would never be able to do an MRI. <laughs> I was like to my breaking point. I was I was going to push the button and be like, I need to get up because it hurt. There's like this spot like in my spine sort of that kind of hurts and then there's like in the last seven minutes, my head was dying. And then when they like let me get up at the end, it hurt, I was so dizzy that like I couldn't sit up. Yeah, so we'll get the results for that probably tomorrow, I guess. I'm like really annoyed, <laughs> it took so long. <gasps> oh, can we go to Gearhearts? Yes, sure. They have the best hot chocolate. What time is it? Well, we've got time. <gasps> if you guys want the best hot chocolate you've ever Don't had in your entire life. Don't advertise places unless they hey, sponsor this was you. Hey, this was my, um, my, my AP chemistry teacher. You then go, the chocolate store? then go here and get some hot chocolate. Yeah, <laughs> the best. I didn't know we were coming here. Didn't I already buy you a bunch of fancy chocolates? Other news. Well now, we went into Staples and we got some hot chocolate and so that made me way more happy because it's the best hot chocolate. It wasn't. What? You didn't think it was the best hot chocolate? No, but we didn't get it in Staples. No, never mind. Oh yeah, well we went to Staples too. There are two separate things. They were right next to each other. Well, you saw the video. And you we also got a tart cake thing. I don't know what cake, it is because I didn't tart. look at it. My grandmother needed a cake. Yeah. She and ordered it, my dad forgot also, to pick it up. Also, from the breast surgeon's office, we got this you can't, paper you can't show me. that says instructions about my surgery for the 26th. So, that's a fun time. And yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. Do you have more? You ever noticed when YouTubers keep telling people to do something in the comments, they always say in the comments below and then they point down? Yeah. Like where else would the comments be? Doesn't everyone on YouTube know where the comments are? Some people are like, how do I make a comment? If you didn't They're know, below. if you didn't know that the comments on a YouTube video were below the video, comment below and let us know. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Check out some of the other videos I've done and subscribe to my channel. Follow along with our other cancer adventures. Really my cancer adventures. But I don't he have comes cancer. he comes along with my adventures. It's and follow my Instagram if you also want to see more updates and stuff. That is it. Goodbye.